So let's find out if Makeup Forever HD skin is really worth all the hype. So if you caught my February haul video, I picked up a sample size of the new Makeup Forever HD skin. So prior to this coming out, Makeup Forever's flagship foundation, I would say, was Makeup Forever Ultra HD. And they actually have a whole line of foundation, the powder and concealer that are considered HD because if I recall correctly, they were developed to be compatible with high definition television, which if you have HD TV or you've seen it, it can be quite unforgiving. HD high definition is going to show everything. So they needed a foundation product and other makeup products that were going to look good up close and personal. So about three weeks ago, Makeup Forever reformulated Ultra HD into HD skin, which is still supposed to give that high definition blurring and perfecting effect, but it's supposed to also last up to 24 hours and be waterproof and sweat proof. So it comes in 40 shades. I got this sh sample in 4N62, which is equivalent to the previous Y505 in this foundation. And yeah, I'm going to try it. It says that it is medium to full coverage. You can also get sheer coverage depending on how you apply it. If you apply it with your fingers, you can get it to be sheer. Otherwise, it's medium to full. So without further ado, let's go ahead and, and get to testing. So this is the step one skin equalizer, the smoothing primer, which is more mattifying than the hydrating primer that I often use. With Makeup Forever products, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that, like a pea-sized amount, and just, well, now it's more than a pea-sized amount, but you get the picture. And just kind of apply that all over my face as a base for this foundation. got my primer on. I'm gonna let that sit for a second. And Makeup Forever, because it's somewhat a professional brand, they do have quite a few tips on applying and using this product. And if I want sheer coverage, I can apply this with my fingers. If I want medium coverage, I can do it with a brush. And if you want full coverage, you can go in with a sponge. So I'm gonna aim here for medium coverage. I'm not color correcting today because I really want to see what this looks like. And they re they recommend that you put put some directly on a brush or on the back of your hand. This is so interesting to me. Like, why is there a stick? I'm I'm very curious as to whether I got a defective bottle or not. Lord, the reason why I keep seeing that little stick on the inside of the bottle is because I'm supposed to be pulling the brown top off, not screwing it. When you screw the top off, it takes the pump with it if you pull it off you see the standard pump that's on makeup forever's other foundations so y'all don't be like me be better than me but anyway i'm gonna stick this on the back of my hand i'm gonna go in with a brush 
And I'm gonna start with a little bit in the middle of my face and then spread and stretch the foundation outward. So already, the coverage, I can see it, but it's not like obnoxiously thick and pasty. I feel like this foundation has a slight powdery scent, which isn't once again isn't obnoxious i'm not terribly bothered by it like i was with water tone but that's what this looks like with one layer and i'm actually gonna add another layer just for kicks to see what it looks like another tip i saw online from one of their artists was to if you want a satin effect in this foundation spray your face with mix and mist and fix first so i may try that at some point as well put a little bit more back here And for what it's worth, in Makeup Forever's foundation, I typically wear, I guess, the equivalent of Y503. But this doesn't seem to be like terribly off in terms of a match. Just kind of stretch that and spread it. It doesn't seem to take a whole, whole lot to get decent coverage and to get that kind of perfected finish. So now that I have the foundation on, I am actually going to go in with my HD powder. Now, the website says that if you want a matte effect, you would go in with their mattifying setting powder, which is actually colored. But if you just want a blurring effect, then you can go in with the HD finishing powder, which is what I'll do today. Hmm. And then I will finish it all together with the Mist and Fix spray. Ooh. Okay, so once this dries, I will go do our natural light test, which it's a snow day today. So I'll be doing it indoors, but with it being snow covered ground, it's super, super bright. And we should really get a decent portrait of what this looks like outside the studio. So I'll come back with that. And then at the end of the day, I will show you all how it wore. So like most foundations, I felt like it wasn't so blurring when I first put it on. I could still see a lot of the imperfections in my skin. But as the foundation matured across the day and I wore it a while, it started to look better. Hey y'all, so it's roughly eight, maybe even nine hours later after I first applied this foundation. And I can say, that honestly, I like the way it wore over time more than I did when I first put it on. And I'm not surprised by that because that seems to be kind of the going pattern. I tend to like to see how a foundation matures and settles in. And just looking at my skin, it still looks nicely blurred. Again, this foundation is supposed to give us 24 hours worth of flawlessness. I'm not going to test that theory, but I think it has done quite well for the nine hours or so that it has been on. I'm just looking real close. I can see where my glasses did rub off some of the foundation, but otherwise, it still looks like it's holding on. My face is still fairly matte. 
The only place I really see some shine developing is in my forehead, but everything else is still pretty matte and covered. I don't see much creasing under the eyes. I don't see a lot of settling into what fine lines I do have at this point. So I'm pleased with that. It's a lightweight wear. I really don't feel it, feel it on my face. And I can totally see how this would be buildable, you know, in layers or with a sponge application with it. So I would give this foundation a mighty fine of the one, two, three foundations of the current Makeup Forever lineup. I still think Reboot is probably my favorite, but this foundation I can see being the most versatile, versatile <laughs> of those of the three foundations I've tried. I didn't like Water Tone. I have Reboot and I wear it. This is one that I would definitely consider pulling for special occasions, especially if I want to look more done without looking as done as say like my fashion fair stick so yeah you guys tell me what you think based on what you've seen or if you've tried it and as always wear what you love love what you wear but don't let it wear you and i'll see you all back for the next one bye bye Thank <laughs> you.